Hey guys, Late Night Cooking here with Christine. I've got a bow tie salad that we're gonna make tonight. Um, I can show you all that you can do cooking for cheap. Uh, we've got a Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow and I'll show you what I put together here. So, first I've got some tomatoes, uh, just little grape tomatoes. Um, you just use about half the pack, so if you're somebody that really likes tomatoes or your kids, my kids love them, uh, they'll be able to eat on those. That was just about, uh, probably $2. Uh, going over here, I've got bacon. Who knew that you could microwave bacon? Got that from a friend of mine. Um, she absolutely hates pop, uh, bacon grease popping her. Who hates that? This girl. I don't like bacon grease at all. That crap hurts. So, I microwave it. Uh, pop about half the bag onto a glass plate and microwave it for about six or seven minutes and you have bacon. Mine are a little less because with this you want the bacon to be just a little softer. So, I actually popped it in there for about five minutes uh, for that. Then I've got my bow ties here. Uh using pretty cheap bow ties here that was well the bacon back to that was probably about three dollars uh back to this this was a buck one dollar who ain't got a dollar and change that they can use for bow ties now this is one thing that i don't scrounge on we buy the real hidden valley because my husband wouldn't have it any other way but you just get one of the little dip packets um and don't follow the instructions on the back get mayonnaise any mayonnaise of your choosing and there's uh two cups of mayonnaise in there with just a, a little bit of uh, milk and whenever i say a little bit i mean just whenever you pour it you pour real fast and you're done um <coughs> not not even a fourth of a cup probably in there uh, and then you just mix all that together now with the bacon back to the bacon uh you need to tear them up into little pieces, just kind of bite-sized pieces, nothing uh, too big, too small. Um, and with this, I cut these into fourths. So I'm going to cut the rest of these up real fast, and I'll be right back. And voila, chopped up bacon. Now I moved some stuff off the table so that we could have a little bit more room here. Um, so pretty much all you do now is add it all together. And I've got my big pot here. Um, I always just mix it all together in the same pot that I make my bow ties in before I put it in the container that I actually take them in. So all we've got to do right here is just add some stuff. So um, just because I am who I am, I always put my um, ranch mix in first and then I add all my other ingredients. So we'll do the ranch first. All right, so that part's added. Now, I will say um, something that I forgot to mention before. Sorry, my spoon was in the way. Um, that whenever you uh, are cooling down or whenever you strain out your bow ties, what you need to do is run cold water over it. Because um, if it's too hot, then it doesn't sit well overnight. Because I always let this sit overnight. The noodles kind of take up the absorption of the, um, the bow ties take up the absorption of the uh, ranch packet stuff. And just gives it a little bit more flavor rather than serving it right off hand. But if you don't cool your noodles down, then it doesn't sit real good overnight and the noodles get a little harder. So I always run cool water over um, my noodles whenever I'm just straining them. So that part's super easy to do. So now we'll just add the bacon since it's right here. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay. And same thing, we are just going to mix that in. I always mix in ingredients as I go because it gives you, it just mixes a little better if you do it as you go rather than wait until all of it's in there and then mixing it all together right then. So now if it was my husband making this, he would tell me to stop here because he does not like tomatoes. But for people that don't like tomatoes, you can just pick them out. So 
because most people like tomatoes. So let me move that knife there. And we're just going to add the tomatoes to it. Yum, 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 yum. All right. So same thing, just mix it around. Now, some people make this with more tomatoes and some people make it with less tomatoes. I always make it with about half the pack because that kind of gives you a good like mix of it with everything else. Um, if you do the whole thing, I feel like it's just a little much, but to each their own. So just do it however you want to. Now, the magic touch is black pepper. Black pepper is super cheap. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it's pretty big. I mean, it's pretty good size. Uh, and then I just kind of sprinkle some on top here. Just enough to kind of coat the top of it a little bit, but not too spicy, just to give it a little bit of flavor. You don't have to add salt because, as everyone knows, you always salt your noodles. If you don't start, if you don't salt your noodles, you should probably start. Gives a much better taste after you're done with them if you salt them. So. And there's that. Okay. So now I'm going to put it into a serving bowl that I can take for tomorrow. So give me just a moment and I will sit that together. All right. So now I've got it in my favorite serving bowl. It's just an orange serving bowl. I'm not really sure if it's branded or not. So, um... I will say that whatever serving bowl that you use, you need to have some kind of lid for it. Because uh, it, whenever it sits overnight, you don't want it to harden. And if there's not a lid on this, then it will harden because you put it in the refrigerator. Now, I know it looks kind of soupy right here. But, like I said, those noodles absorb a lot of that moisture. So, it won't be so soupy tomorrow. But it still won't be dry. Um, it, that's the reason that I add that dash of milk uh, is so that it won't dry out so much tomorrow. <coughs> um, it helps it keep that good, uh, you know, moist flavor to it, so it's good. So let's recap. So we had um, bacon that was probably three dollars. Uh, we had the tomatoes that were two dollars but you still got half the thing left so really it was only a buck because you can use that other stuff for later um the bow ties were a dollar and my hidden valley ranch packet was a dollar fifty so well and if you want to include the uh oh the pepper then that's also a dollar so you've got three four five six seven eight about 850 in this um but like i said if if i wouldn't have went to a local store that's a little more costly if i would have went to like a walmart or an aldi or something like that then i probably could have saved a little bit more money on this um but eight bucks for something like this that's pretty good and it's super simple to make this took me maybe 15 10 to 15 minutes to put together tonight um, my kids are in, asleep, so tonight it's the best time to, for me to do this. Um, so I'm just going to put my little lid on it here, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and uh, we will enjoy that tomorrow, some bow tie salad. Um, so if you like this, comment uh, below. If you didn't, then don't comment, please. Um, and if you have anything that you would like me to try next, a uh, different recipe or whatever, just let me know and I will see if I can't try that for you. So, uh, thanks again. Bye.